go. So let's move on and do the Daily Star. And many people have worried that AI will destroy us all. Turns out they're just going to give us traffic fines, Stephen. Oh, my word, yes. I, I'm, again, AI, one of my favourite subjects. Uh, if you think about it, you've got a camera pointed at people in a car coming up the road to see how fast they're going. Well, why don't we get that camera intelligence and have a look at the pictures of them? And yes, this is basically what's happening now. It's uh, spying within people. Uh, to see whether they're wearing seatbelts, uh, to see whether they're on their phones, and using AI to be able to interpret the pictures. Yeah, and then he starts calling it dystopian new UK traffic cameras use AI to spy on drivers inside their cars. And it is pretty dystopian. It would make a pretty poor James Cameron movie, though, wouldn't it, Josh? Yeah, it might be a <laughs> <laughs> uh, But... I'm not, I'm, I don't want more cameras, more intrusion into our lives. But then there is a statistic here, statistic here fatalities within 1,600 feet of London's 1,000 uh, speed cameras have fallen 58%. So it, it, they do save lives. Uh, whether this, but these are non-AI cameras. But, I mean, we, we do naughty things when we're driving and you think you get away with it. And then suddenly, guess what, those average cameras come out or whatever, and you go, oh, this really sucks. But it does keep you... To the speed limit. Well, okay. I mean, well, we're good. Britain are good at it. I mean, it's one of those things that we no one ever really goes around trumpeting, but in Britain, we're really good at keeping deaths low on the road.